I'm standing here in Nylandia in front of the world's largest completely 3D printed structure. That's forms, footings, slab on grade foundation, interior and exterior walls, and we are finally, finally done with the print. We have nine foot interior walls and a cathedral ceiling. This house is gonna be 2,000 square feet of absolutely magnificent automated technology. The print behind me took 18 actual print dates. And what that entails is excavation. Then we have the slurry mixture, as you guys have seen in the past, that acts as a base. We 3D print the forms, which traditionally are made out of wood, and then backfills with concrete. But we 3D print and backfill. Then we come across and 3D print the slab. And then you have these beautiful interior and exterior walls. This is exactly what it looks like inside and out. Love this line look. And with this particular project, what we're going to do is we're going to keep it this way just to accent and embrace exactly what this is. But the cool thing about 3D printing is it's super versatile. You can make it flat, you can print it, you can go over with siding, you can do anything. But at the end of the day, you have a far, far, far superior product. Fireproof, insect proof, waterproof, and built like a literal brick shit house. So at this point, the print is completely done. Right now, SQ4D is going around and they're measuring to install the number five rebar. So the rebar gets installed strategically in places to give the house additional structural rigidity. And that's why they're able to give the warranties that they're able to. And that's why these things last longer than anything out there. After they've done that, on Monday, the uh, insulation company is gonna come by and they're gonna install the open cell spray foam insulation. They're going to fill both the interior and exterior walls, which truly makes this the most energy efficient or one of the most energy efficient houses out there. Right after that, we're going to put the roof truss system on, the roof goes on, and then my team comes in to finish off the interior and we are done. I can't wait for you guys to see what we do with this house. We're going to... Please tell us about this, what it is, how it's being installed, how necessary, and all things rebar. Sure. So in our house, we have both vertical and horizontal reinforcement. Uh, right now, we're putting in the vertical reinforcement. That's those large pieces of rebar here. Um, so these have a yield strength of about 50,000 PSI. Um, and the yield strength is the strength it takes uh, to plastically deform a structure. Uh, before it is no longer able to function. Um, so the already very strong concrete is now being reinforced with even stronger rebar. Uh, so this house is not going anywhere. So where does the rebar get installed? It gets installed all throughout every X amount of feet, just around windows and exterior doors? Yep, so we have structural support columns scattered throughout the house, uh, around each of the windows and doors there's one. Um, and then along the walls as well, there are several. So. Um, yeah. The interior and exterior walls both have them, uh, and mostly uh, load-bearing walls is where we really need to concentrate the strength, so that's mostly the exterior, uh, and that's where all of the structural support vertical columns are, and then throughout the whole load we also have horizontal support, like a saw support that also goes to, between the layers. So basically, if it's a toss-up and you're a betting one, are you a betting one? Can be. You've known to, to, to roll with Time to time. What's your game? In the casino? Do you have a game in the casino? I, I do not. So, <laughs> if you were a betting woman, let's say, and you had a bet on the pyramids or 42 Dean Street, what's going to last longer? What are you betting? So, the pyramids are actually made out of limestone, uh, which is a component of concrete. Portland cement is actually crushed up limestone that's been heated in a rotary kiln. Uh, but the fact that they just have the big chunks of limestone is really helpful. Um, so I, I might have to give this one to the Pyramid, but 40 New Dean Street is uh, here to stay for quite some time. All that backfired. <laughs>